Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Are 24 teeth enough? In the six years between ages 6 and 12, the 20 permanent teeth replace the 20 baby teeth. In addition, 8 other teeth grow in behind the baby teeth. At 6 years, the 4 first permanent molars start to grow in at the back of the mouth. This means an 8-year-old child should have 24 teeth, or spaces for them. Do you need molars? It's common for adults to lose a back molar, often to gum disease, tooth decay, or injury. Since back molars don't affect the overall appearance of your smile, you might be tempted to skip replacing it. That's not the best idea. Missing a tooth, even just one, can cause severe and permanent damage to your entire mouth. Is it normal to have 30 teeth? A full set of adult teeth will amount to 32 teeth in total. This includes the wisdom teeth, which grow in at the back of the mouth. These normally grow in much later and can be expected between the ages of 17 and 21. For some people wisdom teeth don't grow in at all. How many teeth does a teenager have? Most people have 28 permanent teeth by around the age of 13. In addition, many people develop a third set of molars, also known as wisdom teeth, in their late teens or early 20s, which can bring the total to 32. Do you need all your molars? The answer to this problem is pretty simple, we just get them extracted and move on with our lives. Yet, have you ever stopped to consider exactly how many molars we need to survive? Most of us develop a full set of 12 molars, 4 wisdom teeth, 4 second molars, and 4 first molars. Is it normal to have 20 teeth? The most common type of supernumerary tooth is an extra incisor located between two central incisors. Now you know the deal about how many teeth we have. Typically, children have 20 teeth, and adults have 32 teeth, 28 if the wisdom teeth are removed. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.